Hi, welcome back. Today is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to make an inlay. Now what that is would be, let's say you have a piece of lumber you're working with and it's got an ugly spot. Maybe it's a knot you don't like or a crack that needs to be stabilized. We're going to cut in another piece of wood and glue it in to make the repair. Now I'm going to show you how to do just some simple square inlays using only a router. There'll be no chiseling involved and the finished product is going to look really nice. I start by cutting the patch piece. For the purpose of this video, I just grabbed some scrap I had laying around. If this was for an actual project, I'd try to find a piece that matches green and color as closely as possible to my workpiece. Alternatively, you could use something that contrasts the workpiece and use the patch as a decorative feature. Now we'll cut four pieces of scrap to use as guides. Two that are close to the same length as the patch, just not longer and two pieces that are longer than the width. This will make more sense in just a minute. I'll speed this up a little bit for you. Now we're going to round off the corners of our patch piece using a quarter inch round over bit. You'll want to set this up very precisely. You don't want to cut deep enough to make a shoulder, but you do want to get the full radius. For this video, I just grabbed an extra piece of poplar I had laying around. I'll just cut the patch in on one end. Set the patch wherever you need it to be, and then figure out your orientation of the guide pieces around it. Now I'm going to stick the guide pieces with some double-sided tape. I like to use this really wide stuff uh, as it holds really well. Now we're going to start sticking the guide pieces down around the patch piece. Just make sure as you're sticking them, you're holding them really snugly against that patch piece. Now for the router, we're going to insert a half inch mortising bit and a template guide bushing with exactly a half inch outside diameter. Now we're simply going to remove the material inside of those guides. Just go slow and don't forget your ear and eye protection. And again, I'll speed up some of this video for you. My fit ended up being a little too tight, so just a little bit of light sanding is all it needs. Now if this was an actual project, this is where you would glue it in, but for the purpose of this video, we're just going to press it in and keep moving. Now I need to remove the excess material. Again, I like to do this with my router. It's quick and I don't have to worry about scuffing up my workpiece.
Now we remove that template bushing and insert a 1 inch straight bit. Set the router depth so that the bit doesn't quite contact the workpiece. Then lock your depth gauge so that you don't accidentally cut too deep. Setting a couple pieces of scrap back in there will ensure that your router doesn't fall off any of the guides as you're going back and forth. I would suggest making these cuts little by little rather than taking the entire depth at one time. It's less likely to chip that way. As you're about to see, that double sided tape really is strong. Now we've got just a little bit left and we're going to clean this up with the sander. I'm just using my 5 inch random orbit sander with some 60 grit sandpaper. Now you'll see I did get a little chipping, and if I had glued this, there'd be a little glue in that, and I would just rub some sawdust in there, and it'd be a perfect blend. And there it is, a very quick, simple, easy to do inlay. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, if you didn't, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.